give him an opportunity first, and then we're going to ask that the city council president will come and wrap it up. So let's give them a hand, amen, as they come. Excuse me. As she comes. Exactly. Praise the Lord. Amen. I just came to say that he is a she. Piper Moore. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I want to send you special greetings uh, from our mayor, Michael B. Coleman, and to welcome all of you here to the city of Columbus, Ohio. So welcome on behalf of our mayor, Michael B. Coleman. I also want to give a special thank you to uh, Pastor and Elect Lady Lee for extending the invitation for our mayor to join you on this day. And on the mayor's behalf, I want to bring forth the proclamation for this day. Whereas the mayor of the city of Columbus, Ohio, has the responsibility to recognize occasions of outstanding significance, and whereas Bishop John W. Lee started the Lord Jesus Christ Church in Milo Grogan, Columbus, 1972. Bishop Lee was pre presiding bishop of the, over the Newborn Lighthouse Church organization from 1988 until 2007. Upon his passing in 2007, Bishop Winford Turner of Bruce, Mississippi became presiding bishop and whereas after many years of laboring separately as the Newborn Church of God and True Holiness, and Lighthouse Church of Apostolic Faith. In 1988, the two organiz organizations began having joint convocation meetings together, and whereas the 2015 28th Annual Interna International Holy Convocation will be hosted by the North Central District Churches located in Canada, Kentucky, Ohio, and Illinois beginning Ju Sunday, June 28th through July the 3rd, 2015, and whereas convocation consists of registration, morning and evening services, and breakout sessions, the convocation is scheduled to be held at the Renaissance Columbus Downtown Hotel. The Lord Jesus Christ Church in Columbus, Ohio is the local host church, and now, therefore, I, Michael B. Coleman, Mayor of the City of Columbus, Ohio, do hereby proclaim June 28th through July the 3rd, 2015, as the 28th Annual International Holy Convocation Week in Columbus, and urge all members of our community to join in recognition of this significant occasion. Thank you. President Ginther, can you come to the mic from please? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to uh, our wonderful, beloved city of Columbus. How many folks have been to Columbus before? Well, I hope I'm not so presumptuous to say welcome home. <laughs> we are thrilled to have you in our wonderful city. You've heard from our amazing mayor. I'm a little biased, but he's the best mayor in all of America, the longest serving mayor uh, in our city's history, and the longest serving African-American mayor in all of America. First, I'd like to give honor to God, with whom all things are possible, to Bishop Winford Turner, Bishop Nathaniel Williams, the bishops of the board of directors, and indeed all of those joined here today. We hope you enjoy your convocation here and that you come back every year to Ohio's capital city. I want to make, uh, take a brief moment to recognize Pastor Carl Lee and Mama Lee of the Lord Jesus Christ Church here in Columbus. Pastor Lee and his much better half, Maria, are two passionate advocates 
for the Milo Grogan neighborhood just north of where we joined today. My colleagues on City Council and I worked with Pastor Lee, who also chairs the Milo Grogan Area Commission to help fund the construction of a new playground and brought a brand new recreation center to make sure that our young people in that neighborhood have safe places to gather and to play. Pastor Lee has also been supportive of our city's economic development efforts in the neighborhood, and we thank him for his important work, that of the Lord Jesus Christ Church. Over 500 new jobs are begin, being created right in Milo Grogan that don't just pay a minimum wage, but a living wage for the people of Milo Grogan. As I said, the city of Columbus welcomes the participants of the 28th annual International Holy Convocation. We hope those of you from the participating congregations from beautiful Canada, Kentucky, Illinois, and Ohio enjoy your time here in Columbus. And during any downtime, I encourage you to take and spend all the money you have in our beautiful restaurants and shops and stores and hotels. Uh, for families, Parents Magazine is named our COSI, our Center of Science and Industry, is the number one science museum in the country. This little one looks like a science genius right in front of me. She's got to get to COSI. Or how about the Columbus Zoo, America's best zoo, with one of our greatest ambassadors, Jack Hanna. For sports enthusiasts, we have the Columbus Clippers, minor league baseball team right down the street in the beautiful Huntington Park. Are there any soccer fans, the Columbus crew, playing right up the road in Mott Free Stadium? And of course, I don't know if any of you all watch football, but we tend to be a little bit of a football town. <laughs> Since we have America's undisputed national champion, the Ohio State Buckeyes. <laughs> After your time here this week, and based on the show of hands earlier, on your second or third or fourth visit to Columbus, we hope this is a special week where you are able to be nurtured and your spiritual life enriched so that you may return home to wherever home is, Chapel Hill, Somerville, wherever home is, and know that we as the people, the city of Columbus, we're thrilled to have you with us to join in this incredible journey that God has blessed us all to enjoy. I have a resolution to, participate, to uh, present uh, to the leadership and the bishops, but thank you so much for being here today, and God bless you during this Hallelujah Convocation. President Ginther is the next mayor, so that he'll be the best mayor in the land. Yeah. <laughs>